earliest so that the court can function in accordance with law rather than under the uncertainty of a stay order. I therefore maintain my earlier view in my note of 22nd June 2023. What, what was your ground for uh, constitution of larger bench or for staying the proceedings? My Lord, your ground. What on which? My Lord, section three and four of the practice and procedure. So, four, four talks about interpretation of constitution. Whether any constitutional uh, interpretation was required in this case? Yes, my Lord, because they were asking was... for the striking down of several procedures, uh, provisions of the NAB, NAB Amendment Act. They was no, on the on the touchstone of the constitution. The argument the argument being made was that it violates a number of provisions of the constitution. The provisions relating to fundamental rights provisions relating to Islamic provisions, provisions relating to uh, pa power of an authority of parliament, provisions relating to virtually how a power is to be exercised. All of those were in question. Yes, may, there's also, also another ground speaking for myself, My Lord. where a larger bench should have heard this case, and that was the question of maintainability, because uh, in high courts certain petitions were pending, challenging the wires. And the judgment of the majority did refer to the Benazir Bhutto's case, PLD 1988, Supreme Court 416, which is, I believe, an 11 member bench. My Lord. And that is the law till today. My Lord. And again and again, this court is ignoring that law. My so either that was binding and had to be followed. So any departure that was required to be made had to be heard by a larger bench my lord so uh, that is may i uh, i respectfully uh I'm very grateful for that observation. I had spent an entire day arguing Manzoor Ilahi and arguing on the basis of Benazir Bhutto and pointing out that there was a petition pending under Article 199 of the Constitution before the Islamabad High Court and in view of the pendency of that petition and in view of these two judgments. You see, regardless of that, uh, Makhtoum Saab, with great respect, the larger bench judgment is binding even on this bench because yes. that's an 11 member bench yes my lord and manzoor's ilahi's case has been reaffirmed yes, by them lord. yes and that lord. is the law yes and that lord. law is again and again ignored yes, and that was also ignored in the election matter to which the uh, uh, majority has made a reference. My Lord, yes. So that could not have been overruled and till that is not overruled, 184.3 petitions are not maintainable if matters are pending before the High Courts. My Lord, even before the Practice and Procedure Act was enacted, that was a submission made by me before the Honorable Three Member Bench of this Honorable Court. And that was my next point, which your Lordship has encapsulated is, far better than I could. This is your main arguments. We will hear you later. This is your main arguments. My Lord, that's my second argument after the Practice and Procedure Act. So, the second argument. What is the first? My Lord, the first was that in so view. Are you, what is the first proposition? The first proposition is that in view of the provisions of the Practice and Procedure Act, 2023 the proceedings before this honorable court's three member bench had become quorum non judis and the matter should have been referred to a no, committee no. so are, are you saying this judgment is a nullity in law that's what i'm submitting my lord what do you say about when the, the the practice and procedure act was suspended it was not in field my lord your lordships know it knows it better than me that an order of stay operates inter parties it operated between them and my lord mr justice sayed mansoor ali shah uh, refers to my submission and encapsulates this very well that if tomorrow this practice and procedure act will be upheld the stay order will be vacated and for that period but so you were prescient or was just a sharp prescient my Lord, this both of you. The members of this but honorable bench Mahtoum, are always prescient. Mahtoum Saab speaking for myself, the petition was not maintainable in the light of the law laid down by the Benazir Bhutto's case. My Lord, and that was my submission even prior to the 2023 Act because the Act came in between. And that's my proposition. Sir, agla proposition is that on the same issue, 
a constitution petition under Article 199 of the Constitution, being petition number 2557 of 2022, challenging the virus of the law was pending before the Islamabad. So I'm just thinking aloud, don't read too much into my observations. It could be that a petition comes here and someone just to stop that files a petition in the High Court. Okay, it could be completely malefide. Okay, how would we know it? We can't know malefides and bona fides, and that will happen. So should should that not be a matter of case to case basis just well, because a petition has been filed? Well, uh, or, for instance, some things are time related, like you know, it's very important something happens, and a party is not interested in adhering to a certain time. Let's take elections for instance. So they file a petition, one in Pakistan, one in Sindh, etc and someone files who's actually interested in elections in the Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court should say, hang on, let's dissuade those. But they will effectively get the relief what they wanted delay. So should it be binding on us to that extent? Subscribe and press the bell button so that no news will be left.